there guys, Coaster Chow here, Doncaster Born, Bods built for theme parks and welcome to a theme park newsroom update where today we're going to be looking at Lightwater Valley theme park in Ripon, North Yorkshire as a bit of a follow on update uh, from the previous video. Now obviously we spoke about the brand new ownership of the theme park, uh, the brand new purchase by Brighton Pier Group, now we're going to speak about what they have said in an exclusive interview with Ride Writer about what they intend to do with the ultimate roller coaster. So we're going to share with you the official interview, I'm going to link the article from Ride Writer with the interview on in the description down below so you can check it out for yourselves. Uh, but for now guys, please like the video if you loved it, comment down below your thoughts on what's been said, uh, subscribe to the channel if you're new, click the notification bell so you never miss a YouTube video guys, we're on the road to 3,000 subs and a million views, uh, we want to try and get to 4k by the end of the year, so we're halfway there, uh, but we're nearly three quarters of the way there, getting closer and closer towards 3,000 subscribers. So let's try and get to 4k by the end of this year guys, let's really try our hearts out. Uh, you'll have seen on the community page that I've posted that I am going to be at Alton Towers on the 28th of June, so if you do see me, don't be afraid to say hi at social distance. And uh, for now, guys, let's have a look at exactly what's been said on the future of the Ultima and what the new owners intend to do with it at Lightwater Valley Theme Park. So this has been officially taken from Ride Rater. Uh, so the owners of Lightwater Valley will be looking at the ultimate roller coaster. Now the chief executive of Lightwater Valley's new owners has told Ride Rater that the new company will look at various options relating to the ultimate roller coaster. The CEO of the Brighton Pier Group, Ann Ackford, said the 1.4 mile ride would be looked at in due course. The ultimate remains at Lightwater Valley but has not been operating since 2019 after being mothballed amidst the COVID-19 pandemic. Earlier this year, Lightwater Valley's former owners confirmed a strategic shift to concentrate on the family market, withdrawing thrill rides including the Ultima and Raptor Attack roller coasters. It was announced on Thursday that the BPG had acquired Lightwater Valley in a deal worth up to £5 million. Now they said, we haven't ruled anything out at all in relation to the Ultima, which was the world's longest roller coaster its opening in 1991. Of course, it's now uh, Europe's longest roller coaster still. Uh, now she said the sellers had not time to practice the strategy the, in, in terms of the family orientated strategy so it has not been tested there is a place in the market for this type of park or we would not have purchased it that's very exciting to hear by the way our aim is to improve it and make it enjoyable experience for everyone that comes here it's not dead in the water it needs some work doing on it we are more than conscious of its iconic status if we can do something with it then we will obviously safety has got to be the priority so in due course we'll have a look at it and make sure it complies with modern standards and she described the ultimate as quite fascinating and quite a feature it's quite unique and there are options to shorten a little bit to change its track basically or change its track uh, so it should be very interesting uh, to see what the new ownership of like water valley theme park have planned for the europe's longest roller coaster so there we are, ladies and gentlemen, thrill seeks of all ages. That is speaking about what Lightwater Valley's new owners have said about what they intend to do with the Ultima. They're going to have a look at it, see what they could do, and uh, we'll go from there. So we don't have an exact clue of what's going to happen. We heard shorten the track a bit, and I know the theme park enthusiasts are already over social media going, they're going to shorten the track. That usually means it's going to be RMC'd. No, it's not going to be RMC. Trust me, it's not going to be RMC. I'd be very surprised if it was, but it's not going to be RMC, trust me. They're just going to try and make it look compatible with modern standards. Like I said, I'd be very surprised if it is. Uh, but I think that it's nice to see them at least considering them bringing back the ultimate, or at least really looking at bringing them back as much as possible. Um, so hopefully, fingers crossed, it can go uh, hand in hand with the modern demands and standards of roller coaster safety and uh, fingers Fingers crossed it can run again starting in 2022 uh, or further than that. Uh, so before we go guys, please like, comment, subscribe, cut no case pass to the of the video. And for now, my name is Coach Chell, kill on the coast of life, and I'll see you guys in the next video very, very soon. Take care guys, have a light water-tastic day.